Hello everyone, it's me Chris Brand, the best of your life. I know that I am. I have my cigar in hand. This is a cigar that's made with tobacco leaves uh, for a pipe. So pipe tobacco. You're like, tobacco leaves for a pipe. What you talking about? Because it's, I, guys, I was just having a moment, guys. Having a moment. Early in the day. I'm enjoying my morning. But I do have my coffee in hand, so I'm happy as a clam. I have my cigar in hand, so I'm even happier than a clam. I don't know what's happier than a clam, but I just know it's a saying. Um, I think... I think of clam, I believe there's a scene, or like oyster, I believe there's a scene in the, um, in Alice in Wonderland that um, uh, works with that, which is very interesting. But besides that, um, amazing book, which I highly recommend. I've read that book uh, probably a hundred times. We used to listen to it on tape as a child over and over and over again. And there's one that Christopher Plummer narrates, and it's outstanding. Dandy. It's ridiculously good. Hi, I'm Christopher Plummer. How are you? Blah, blah, blah. I'm Alice. I'm Alice. But guys, read it um, or listen to it because Alice in Wonderland is immaculate. But back to what I was saying with everything. So vengeance, being vengeful, being bitter, being resentful, um, becoming someone who stabs others in the back, that's a process. And what tends to happen is life is suffering and so people tend to, well as people, I'll just write down my journal, we relate things from our perspective to what we know. We can only relate experiences or situations to what we know. The reason that so many people quit, so many people don't achieve the full potential is because in their mind, they relate things to the past. And rather than realizing that you're a growing person, that you're constantly changing, never ending, you actually um, you relate to, oh, well, I did that as a child. I always failed as a child. I had difficulty making friends as a child. So that must go into adulthood. I must have difficulty making friends now. Or I must have difficulty making money. Or like, oh, I failed horribly at this job and was fired. So that means that every job I'll have forward, I'll be fired. No, you don't have the mentality. It's, I learned. I grew. I discovered. But also, guys, something that's so important is that um, if you ever read the book, The Body Keeps a Score. Really good book, by the way. Um, as human beings, physiologically, we, you know, we sense energy, we sense mood, we can, we, we pick up on people's cues super, super well. And so that's why you get that gut instinct with somebody, like they're lying to you or that they're a little deceitful or that, um, you know, something, it's kind of like when you hear someone, you're like, you're, you're lying and you just know they're lying to you for some reason, the certain mannerisms, the way they tell their story, whatever it is, you can just tell because as human beings, we pick up on those cues super, super well. But so with that being said, one of the ways you can help not build resentment is I know for me personally, I've had numerous business relationships with people where I've talked to them, things sound good, but just something about them, a certain energy, I don't know what it is. I just don't trust them. I just feel like there's something off. And you want to listen to that because your body picks up on that kind of thing. And you want to listen to resentment. And the big reason why, too, is so that you don't become someone who lives in constant suffering, who lives in constant sorrow, who becomes resentful, who becomes bitter. Because what happens is, especially if you work a job that you hate, you have to figure a way to get a job you love. Because all that stress, all the resentment, you're going to bring it home. And that goes on your wife, that goes on your kids, that goes on your friends, everything else. And it makes life hell. It makes life nothing but suffering. Guys, life is suffering. But you can make life joyous, right? So that's why I love the uh, saying business-wise, like, life is a shit sandwich but you can choose to put the olive on top of it. And so work-wise, I love what I do, but I have to eat a shit sandwich all the time. But I can choose to have that olive on top and embrace it and enjoy it, right? Which is like, I don't want to eat that sandwich, but besides that, just think of the sandwich from Minority Report that eats in the fridge, you know, you're in the milk, but besides if you remember that movie. But guys, if you notice yourself becoming resentful, particularly in a relationship, especially if you're dating a girl, and there's just little cues, guys. So quick story. So I have a friend. I, I went through it. So guys, I can speak from my perspective because I've done the stupid shit for you to learn from me and learn from my mistakes. But I'm a strong-willed person. I overcome things well. So I, uh, you know, I am very blessed with this mindset that God has given me. But besides that, um, so with all that being said, always trust your gut. And I've always been shocked how my gut is like always correct. And I have a really close friend who's an amazing lawyer. 
and the dude is just brutal. And he's a really good guy, really strong Christian guy, really good guy. But he can read people just like that. He can read situations just like that. And he will tell me the truth brutally, brutally. But that's because he's one of my closest friends because God damn is a friend who tells you the truth and does not care um, and will tell you the truth because they truly care about you, that is a powerful friend to have. That's the one you want to keep in your circle. And I'm so blessed. I have numerous close friends just like that. But, guys, you have to trust your gut and you have to cut ties with negativity and toxic people as fast as possible or just people that make you uncomfortable because, because, Otherwise, you're going to carry that with you. It's going to be the back of your mind. Everything else, guys. Everything else. Same thing like with my business. There's a saying, fire your clients. That for me, when I have a client and there's an icky feeling about them, I just say, hey, you're not a good fit. Not a good fit. Especially go somewhere else. Especially like with money. Because especially the way money works is that if people, generally speaking, like people who pay less, pay less and they stay less. People who pay more, pay more. As simple as that. And so that's why like, if you have a business, you want to be in a market where you can charge a super high price and don't have time for people who can't afford you. And that sounds bad. But because people who can't afford you, they're the ones they file chargebacks on the credit card. They're the ones who give you shit all the time. They're the ones who are problems, who cause problems for other people because they're dysfunctional. All that stuff. And that sounds brutal. I know. But I'm telling you the truth. And if you want to become a great business person or anything else in life, you have to realize it's way more important to be respected than to be liked. It's way more important to do what's right instead of doing what will make you liked. And that's what someone with integrity, that's what a leader, that's what a man does. You do the right thing regardless of if you're loved or if you're not loved for it. But besides that, anyway guys, I am Chris. I love you all. I hope you got some good information from this. Guys, I can only speak from my perspective, but my perspective is mine, so I share it with you. Anyway, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. I've been loving the comments, guys. You guys from all over the world, it's so crazy. Let me know where you're from. I just love seeing that. I love connecting with you and just realize we have brothers all over the world, right? Brothers and sisters everywhere we go. We're all God's creation, and this life is beautiful. Anyway, I love you all. I'm Chris. Adios, adios. Have the best of your life. By the way, Slayer! Disciple. Fucking love that song. Anyway, love you all. See you around, right? Bye bye.